Linux Mint 22.3, codenamed Xena, is officially here. That is the beta version. It will be released soon. As the third point release in the 22 series, it's built on the rock solid Ubuntu 24.04 LTS base, meaning you're supported all the way through 2029. While point releases are usually about stability, Xena is packed with a surprising number of new features, including a massive overhaul of the Cinnamon desktop and brand new system tools. Let's dive into everything new in Linux Mint 22.3. Uh, all right, let's talk about the headline feature of uh, Linux Mint 22.3. Uh, the big jump to Cinnamon 6.6. .6. And trust me, this is where you'll notice the biggest visual change. So the very first thing that hits you is the brand new application menu. Mint completely redesigned it. And honestly, it looks so much cleaner now. On the left side, you now get a full height sidebar. This isn't just for looks, it's functional. Your user avatar is right at the top. Below that, your places like home, documents, downloads, and under that, your favorite apps. Everything is stacked neatly from top to bottom. It feels more modern, more professional, and honestly, a lot more like what we see in polished desktop environments today. Now, this is a nice touch. Mint added symbolic category icons. Uh, these are minimal monochrome icons for categories like internet, office, system, and so on. They give the menu a very sleek, modern vibe. It's less busy, easier on the eyes, and blends perfectly with dark mode. But here's the best part. You still get choice if you prefer the old school, colorful category icons. You can switch back with one click. Mint never forces change on you. They always let you customize. And while all of this looks great on the surface, there's a ton happening behind the scenes. The developers actually refactored the menu's code, meaning faster loading, smoother scrolling, better search responsiveness, and improved keyboard navigation. So if you're someone who likes to navigate your apps using just the keyboard, arrow keys, enter, and typing, you're going to love this. It's much snappier and less prone to lag. Now let's talk about something power users are really going to appreciate. Uh, Nemo 6.6, uh, the file manager, also got some killer upgrades. Uh, and honestly, that, these are the kinds of features people have been begging for for years. First up, and this is the big one, you can now pause and resume file operations. Yup. Copying a huge folder, moving gigabytes of data across drives. You can literally hit pause, free up your system, and then resume when you're ready. This is one of those features you don't notice until you actually need it. And once you have it, you can't live without it. Next, there's a brand new template manager. This lets you customize the templates that show up in your right-click new document menu. So if you always create blank text files, spreadsheets, markdown notes, or whatever format you use, you can manage all of that from one clean place. Power users are going to love this. It saves time and it keeps your workflow super organized. Linux Mint isn't trying to reinvent the wheel. It's staying true to what users love. No snap packages by default. No system D removal classic Mint philosophies are still intact. And it doesn't stop there. That same pause feature now 
applies to time shift as well. So if time shift is taking a big snapshot and your system starts to slow down, you can just hit pause, get your performance back, and then resume the snapshot later without breaking anything. This is huge for people using SSDs or anyone who hates when time shift locks the disk for 20 minutes um, on a live USB, so cannot show you this feature. And finally, a really nice touch. Mint added notification badges on the window list. So if you have multiple apps open and one of them sends you an alert, maybe a message, a download complete, or a system notification, you'll see a little badge right on the window button. Super simple, but incredibly useful. No more missing important alerts behind other windows. Now let's talk about something a bit more technical, but very important for the future of Linux Mint. Mint is continuing its slow, careful march toward Wayland and Cinnamon 6.6 .6 takes some solid steps forward here. Better Wayland keyboard support. One of the biggest improvements is modernized keyboard handling. Cinnamon 6.6 .6 is now fully Wayland compatible. When it comes to traditional keyboard layouts and IBUS input methods for multilingual typing, that means smoother typing, fewer input glitches, and better compatibility if you're already experimenting with Wayland sessions, essential, especially if you type in multiple languages or use complex input methods. Another big upgrade is the on-screen keyboard, and this one is huge for tablets and touch devices. Mint completely rewrote it from scratch, and it's now native to Cinnamon instead of being a reused external component. What does that mean in real life? Faster response time, better touch accuracy, cleaner integration with the desktop, and fewer bugs overall. If you're using a two-in-one laptop or a touchscreen device, this is a massive improvement. And finally, we've got a brand new Thunderbolt configuration module inside the system settings. This makes it super easy to manage Thunderbolt docs, approve or block devices, handle high-speed external drives and peripherals. No, no more digging through obscure tools or uh, terminal commands. Everything is now neatly integrated into Mint's settings panel. This is exactly how Mint does things. No rush transitions, no breaking changes. Arjian, just steady, well-tested improvements toward the future. All right, now let's pop the hood and talk about what's happening behind the scenes in Linux Mint 22.3, because this update isn't just about looks. First up, Linux Mint 22.3 ships with the Linux 6.14 kernel. And this is great news for hardware support. That means better compatibility with newer CPUs, improved GPU support, especially for AMD and Intel, more reliable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers, and overall better performance on modern laptops and desktops. If you've had hardware that was almost working perfectly before this kernel update might finally fix those last annoying issues. So to wrap things up, Linux Mint 22.3 Xena is already available in beta right now. That means if you're the kind of person who likes to test new features early, you can download it today, play around with the new menu, Nemo updates, and all the Cinnamon 6.6 .6 improvements. Just keep in mind, it is a beta. So expect the occasional bug. Now, as for the stable release, um, Linux Mint is aiming for around the Christmas holidays or possibly early January 2026, which lines up perfectly with how Mint usually does its point releases. And if you're already running Linux Mint 22, the upgrade is going to be super easy. Once it goes stable, you'll be able to upgrade directly through the update manager. No reinstall, no drama. So now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the new application menu in Cinnamon 6.6? .6? Love it, or do you prefer the old one?
Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more Linux news, tutorials, and updates. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.